The show was Africa Daily on Africa Global Radio. 19 minutes past 1 p.m. The good news segment is up next. Stay with us. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. All right. Uh, good news indeed. We do have uh-huh. um, from different places, but I think today's own is South Africa is dominating. And yeah, I'm happy to have good news from South Africa. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, tell us about it. So, we'll start with the first one. It's actually an innovative South African-made oxygen therapy equipment. And okay. it's to aid in the fight against the COVID-19. Brilliant. Uh-huh. And now it's um, the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority. Okay. SAPRA. Okay. Yeah, that's an innovation of them. Mm. They've approved the portable and cost-effective device that actually delivers it delivers high levels of oxygen to mm-hmm. COVID nineteen patients, right? Effectively preventing their lungs from collapsing. Nice. And we know how important this is. Uh, very. When very. we actually contract the COVID nineteen, yeah, it got to a point where we had people locally manufacturing them. Mm. And I'm happy they've been able to come up with something like this in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget the current figure there, and knowing that in all it's of Africa they're actually leading. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. It's not looking good in South Africa, not at all with respect to COVID. Okay. Um. So it's actually a device that basically goes a long way, like I said, to mm. help in the fight against the COVID-19. Now they uh, refer to it as Oxera. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's an oxygen efficient respiratory aid. Right. Yes. Mm. And basically, this is where a large number of COVID 19 workers okay. or, or unskilled workers mm-hmm. in that regard are able yeah. to come together and build something to help in the fight against the COVID 19. I like the innovative aspect of it. I mm-hmm. like this. There's this mentality. This let's all come together and do. Let everybody do what they can do right. in the fight against the COVID-19. Mm, mm. And this is basically what they're doing mm, there mm. at South Africa. I mean, I like the fact that they're owning, they're owning it. It's like, this is our problem. So let's, it's not like, okay, yeah, government, please take the, the, the step That's, ahead yes, and start doing exactly. things. We're owning it. And it's everyone's problem, right? Exactly. That's amazing. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, we'll take. We'll go to the diaspora and then we'll come briefly back to South Africa Let's again. Let's fly so, out then. Uh, moving, we're mm. going to Boston. Okay. And they've had their first ever black female mm. male. Nice, nice. All right. So we're talking about Kim Janey, and she's currently the city council president of mm-hmm. Boston. Nice. Now she's gonna be the first woman to serve as the city's mayor. Nice. First a black woman. First black woman. This is in line with, I think, the awareness that was raised by Black Lives Matter, okay. the movement. And right. I feel it didn't just come to say, wake up and listen, wake up. Yeah. It actually has shaken some roots. It's, mm. it's actually done groundbreaking work. Yeah. And we've had a lot of companies over this um, over the past year. Yeah. And some parts of, uh, well, a couple of weeks have been able to select and appoint Blacks. African Americans yeah. to notable positions, yeah. um, giving them power to be able to make certain decisions in the companies. Also, being able to uh, hand them in places or give them opportunities that open them up to great things. Yeah, like yesterday when we look at the black woman who was appointed as the acting chief of the U.S. Capitol. Yeah, yep. I mean that was that is good news. I mean, I still I still had issues second, concerning it coming just a week after the Capitol riot. The, the, what I yeah, mean, yeah, but the second highest office in the United States. States, of course, has the, the occupancy of uh, Kamala Harris, of, so you should know that. So basically, you know? we could tell that the whole Black Lives Matter movement has, actually yeah, did yeah, yeah, have yeah. an impact. Mm. It had an effect, yeah. and the result we're looking for, mm. though it's not coming in, it's just trickling in yeah. here, there, but here, it, there. It, it's showing well, signs of all inclusiveness. Doors are open, exactly, kind of yeah. exactly, which is that very, is very important. Mm-hmm. So congratulations to Kim Janey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yep. we actually wish her the best, mm-hmm. and we hope she's actually going to do a good job there oh, for yeah, Boston. I mean, and we also hope this is the beginning of more absolutely, black females. Absolutely. Okay. Finally, we're coming back to South Africa. Flying back, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Great. And we're looking at, it's a platform. Mm. And basically, it's a South African agri-tech startup. Okay. Now, what they do is they are unlocking wider revenue mm-hmm. for stream, like for farmers in South Africa. All right. So they've become like the middlemen. Mm. were between the farmers and then between the consumers in South Africa. Mm. And it's called Nile, like the River Nile. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, so uh, they enable customers to buy directly from Africa's leading food producers. Okay. And basically what they do is they actually contact and connect people to fresh produce buyers and the sellers. So they have made the platform. All right. You come on there. Uh, they showcase what they have. You tell them what you're looking for. Then they link you directly to a fresh produce buyer. Okay. We're not talking about frozen foods or something. We're talking about like I go to the farm, I go you know harvest tomatoes as yeah, fresh as I yeah. get it and then oh. I, I want to sell it and I want to buy fresh tomatoes mm-hmm. I don't want to go to the supermarket and buy a frozen type so mm. I go online fresh tomatoes mm. they give me uh, someone who actually sells them okay. and the key thing is they verify the quality mm. Uh, the transactions that take place, they are secured. All right. And then also they want to make sure that it's direct from the producers so that they, as the people bringing it to you, can guarantee that it's quality. Mm. And then they deliver it mm. before you make payments. Nothing better refreshing than fresh, you know, vegetables, tomatoes, you know, cabbage and all of that. Oh, dear. I actually dreamt of becoming a chef someday, but unfortunately, haha. So you wanted to be a cattle headman. I it, it was, was part of my ago. dreams. It was me. Was it? I never said I was. I wanted. I dreamt of. I said I. Act, I'm looking forward to becoming a headsman. Ye, not a headsman. Owning, you know. Okay. You know, cattle okay. and you know, that kind of wealth. It's good. It's money. Plenty money. For God's sake, it's business. I want to, you know, that should be one of my businesses I plan to own in the future. Both of you are about the mullah. Uh, please. You cannot tell me you're not also about the mullah. Well, okay. Um, one thing I like about the fact that um, Nile is actually creating a revenue for okay. the farmers. Now, right. it's more like we're making everything digital for you. You don't have mm-hmm. to do the hard work. Yeah. We come to you, present to you what we have, mm-hmm. and then you just give us what you have got. Right. Now, this is opening wider streams of income for them. So now these farmers don't necessarily have to think of, I'm going to carry my harvest and go all the way to the market to go and sell or something. Mm-hmm. There's a platform that's going to contact them when their customers who are ready to purchase what they have. Mm. So then they can actually use a spare time to focus on doing other things mm. as well. Mm. Right. <laughs> Okay. So if you're in South Africa and then you actually haven't heard of this and you actually want to patronize it or try it, right? Um, you just go to www.nal.ag, nal.ag, uh-huh. or www.nal. Yeah, nal.ag, uh-huh. and then you just get access to it. Nice, easy, easy. You register, you buy whatever you want to buy. Okay. Right. Well, that's all we have for you, Jared. Good news. Interesting. Thank you, Epi. The show was Africa Daily on Africa Global Radio. Listen to the show Monday to Friday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. GMT live. Transmitting from Ghana, Accra. And get more interesting, exciting, positive news on the good news segment across uh, the global African space. And of course, uh, the podcast version, always available, AGR on demand on africaglobalradio.com.